A local couple has been dealing with one health problem after the other lately. Their friends and family have put together an event. They're hoping to help the family out a little bit. Amy with the American Legion Post 479, you're the chaplain. That's correct. And Eric, Rick and Sandy's son are here with us this afternoon with more on how you might be able to help uh, them out and win some prizes at the same time. Are they, your parents are Rick and Sandy Mainhart. Uh, a lot to unpack here. So tell me, first of all, uh, Rick has had some lung issues for a while, but bring me up to speed with both of them right now. So dad was diagnosed with uh, pulmonary fib fibrosis um, almost three years ago, um, leading up to uh, obviously the uh, lung transplant that he recently received. Um, Easter this year, uh, mom found out that she had thyroid cancer, so she had surgery for that. Uh, less than two weeks before dad's lung transplant. Um, yeah, so it's it's been a hectic year. So he's a, a former commander of the Swanton American Legion, of which that post you're involved with. So uh, this is this is family too. There's a family yes. and that's family too. So what was your reaction then? Um, as you stated, Rick was the former commander of the Post 479 in Swanton and uh, got really close to Sandy and Rick when I joined the post there. and. They took me under their wing, so I'm doing everything I can. The whole post is to, to help them out, their family to us. Plus, Rick's a veteran, and that's one of our pillars is the American Legion is taking care of veterans. So, so uh, your dad went on honor flight last June yes. uh, when his health was still manageable to where he could go. Uh, was that quite an experience? What they tell you about getting to go on honor flight? It was probably one of the best experiences of his life. Yeah, he had... Uh, he had hoped he was able to make it on that flight before his health decline, which he knew was coming. And uh, yeah, he did make it on there and um, loved every minute of it. So, Amy, tell me, uh, Honor Flight and the Swanton Legion, I know from experience with this, they're very tight too. This is, oh, a, even Honor Flight as a family, uh, you guys are so critical to what we do with, with well, explain what all you guys do for uh, every Honor Flight. The next one is coming up September 10th. Correct, September 10th. Uh, we'll actually, we've already been planning for that already. Sure. Um, but we actually cook the breakfast uh, for all the people going on that flight. So. We get up, we prep the food Sunday, all the cold storage stuff, and then they start cooking it, and so it's all ready for September 10th to feed them. And, and the Lima been... veterans come up? Oh, yes. Um, sometimes uh, we had veterans that would come up from Lima and stay at the hotel near the airport, and so when we would know there'd be veterans there, we would tell them to come over to the post, and we'd uh, serve them up some dinner and stuff uh, the day before. So Eric, uh, this fundraiser is coming up on Saturday. It's a, a, a big night. You're gonna try to raise some money to help pay some medical expenses. Um, what all is happening at the American Legion this Saturday? Um, they have a band, live band playing, um, mm -hmm. barbecue, um, multiple auctions um, and raffles. Um, just a chance for family, friends, community to come together to uh, support them. And some great prizes, I understand. Yeah, yes. we have a 28-inch uh, Blackstone grill, $5 a ticket. Um, we have some purses, and I think we also have a shotgun, and we also have some baskets that people can also bid on. That was Rick and Sandy right there in that photograph, your yes. mom and dad? Yes. Yeah. How are they doing? Tell me the latest with them. So they both had surgery in, in May, and that's a, a <laughs> thyroid surgery yep. and double lung transplant. So um, mom's thyroid surgery was May 6th. And less than two weeks after that, dad had his uh, lung transplant. Um, he went, I think it was May 20th, he got approved to be on the donor list. Uh, the 21st, his health declined even more. They tried to get him moved up the list as fast as possible. So um, yeah, on the 21st, he got uh, news that they found a donor and that he was gonna be having the sur surgery on Wednesday the 22nd. And a couple months in, he's doing okay? Yep. He spent two and a half months out there in Cleveland Clinic, yeah. um, rehab, step down facility, ICU, all that. Um, just came home at the end of July, so he was out there for about two and a half months. Well, hopefully he's on the mode, road to recovery and so is your mom as well. And and they live happily ever after. And uh, thanks to the American Legion, a big fundraiser coming up to help both Rick and Sandy with their medical bills. Guys, thanks so much for being here.